Um, as you know, since 2011, Syria has been engulfed in a complex civil war, which has pitted a range of opposition groups against the Assad regime. Uh, and the regime in 2014 enjoyed increased military support on the ground from Iran, Iranian proxies from Lebanon and Iraq, and possibly hundreds of unemployed men from Afghanistan. Much has been made of the foreign fighters who joined the ranks of the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. And in 2014, that total included 2,700 civi uh, citizens of Western countries. But it's worth noting that all foreign combatants, whether fighting for the Syrian government or its opposition, gained considerable combat experience in Syria, which will surely have significant repercussions for their native states. In 2014, the Syrian conflict also became inextricably linked to what was taking place in the Sunni heartlands of Iraq where the Islamic State seized territory and resources contiguous with substantial base areas in Syria and declared a caliphate, thus putting it, putting it on a collision course with al-Qaeda. And in that um, advance in Iraq in mid-2014 made by the Islamic State, uh, this was accompanied by acts of spectacular brutality resulting in 18,000 deaths and 2 million IDPs. Now, in November 2014, the leader of the Islamic State uh, defined the Shia as its primary enemy. The Islamic State continues to control significant territory and resources and remains a potent force in defining the way in which global jihadism is evolving, which is now manifesting beyond Syria and Iraq as a state-building enterprise. Jihadism has also played a substantial role in Libya, where two separate governments and two parliaments vied for control of a rapidly disintegrating country. And during the summer of 2014, Islamic State began to make inroads in former Gaddafi strongholds, which it's capitalized on, two th on in 2015. Uh, in Mali, jihadist groups, um, jihadist organizations have regrouped in 2014 and killed dozens of UN peacekeepers mainly from Chad. Jihadist violence has also um, led to a dramatic deterior deterioration of security in the Sinai, where militant groups continue to engage the Egyptian military with increasingly sophisticated weaponry, included, including guided anti-tank, Cornet rockets, shoulder-fired anti-aircraft missiles, and anti-aircraft guns. Meanwhile, in Yemen, uh, Yemen continued to disintegrate as the Shia Houthi occupied the capital in September 2014. The Houthi faced resistance from the Saudi-led coalition, but also engaged with, in clashes with AQAP, Al-Qaeda's branch there, which went on to storm prisons, seize military bases, loot banks, and capture the eastern port city of Makala, where it is currently clashing with fighters from the Islamic State, but that's more a, a recent development. Conflict in Israel-Palestine reached its deadliest level since the 1967 uh, Six-Day War. The 50-day Operation Protective Edge resulted in substantial casualties and was followed by a rise in militant attacks and speculation about the start now of a possible third intifada. Throughout 2014, tensions escalated between Hamas, which controls the Gaza Strip, <coughs> and increasingly self-confident groups allied to the Islamic State. A similar situation pervaded in Lebanon, where Palestinian security forces faced an uphill struggle to prevent the Islamic State and similar militants from overrunning the long-established uh, Palestinian refugee camps, particularly uh, Ain al-Halwath. 